today is the day, the last 16. And if you're anywhere near as excited as me, the next 15 minutes is for you. This is Lion's Den with m and Food. Boom, boom. Welcome back to Lions Den with MS Food. It's a special match day edition. We're into last 16. This is knockout football. We've got an absolutely packed show for you today. Not only are we going to be joined by the beast, the strongest man in football, added by Akin Fenwa, we are also going to be talking to the main man, Calvin Phillips, about all things last 16. Now, guys. Listen, this show is all about our fans. And every time I speak to the boys, whether it be in Lions Den, whether it be in and around camp, they tell me, thank you so much for all of the messages of support. So we want to have as many of those in the show as possible. We'll feature them all on the screen using the hashtag Lions Den. Let us know where you're watching the game, how you're watching the game, who you think will get on the score sheet. It's going to be incredible. Enjoy. But before that, take a look at some of these clips, these outrageous clips from Inside Trading. Phil, absolutely outrageous from you. Now, listen, it's T-minus five hours and about 50 minutes until game time. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm gassed. So, listen, before, listen, yesterday we had to come in, we had to speak to Calvin Phillips, a legend, a player who was so important in our Euro 2022 journey. So, listen, this is what he had to say. Cal Brabro, welcome to the Match Day Show. Thank you. Talk to me now. Knockout football now, three games down. How are you feeling going into, uh, into the game? Yeah, I feel good. Obviously, we've had a good group stage. Um, seven points, probably the most goals. I think it was the most goals out of anybody in the... Best record in the groups, yeah? Yeah, which is a good thing. Um, but we're obviously playing against Sen Senegal, which, you know, they're used to winning. They're a tough side and probably one of the best, best sides in Africa now. So, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be good. Not nervous at all yet, but I think when the game comes, we'll... It's one of them ones where yeah. it kind of builds up and you realise, yeah, this, this, yeah this, this is like, you're one and done that. If you, if you yeah. don't win, you're, you're out. So I mean, yeah. the, the, the pressure's on. But listen, I know everyone at home has, has, has absolute faith now. You come here straight from training, I see you rocking the vest, <laughs> grafting. How was it? Yeah, it was all right. It was warm. But you know, we had an easy session, a little five hours, um, practising penalties and stuff. And then, yeah, just a little bit of set pieces and that. So just getting ready for the game. It's getting, you made your World Cup debut. So I've got to come on to that. What was that feeling like? Because it, it must be a, a dream as a kid, I guess, to play in a World Cup. Yeah, I think it hit me a lot more afterwards. Like, yeah. at the time, obviously, you just focused on the game. And obviously, I've not played much anyway, so I was just focusing on making sure I come on and don't do anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's the key. So, um, yeah, obviously, you know, when I got on, I just tried working hard. And um, we got another goal when I was on. So it made me feel a little bit better. And You know what I like? You're going... I would come on, I've got another goal. So I'm claiming an assist, just like, <laughs> just, just from, just from my presence. <laughs> no, nah, but um, I actually did get the assist, you know. I don't get yeah, to oh, yeah. Um, but now nah, it was just, it was just a nice moment. Obviously, all, having all my family there and yeah. some of my friends there as well to see it, and um, yeah, it was a good moment. And you know, hopefully, I can play a little bit more in the nah. knockout stages. No, we, we hope so, no doubt about it. Because I think last time you came on to Lions then you, you rocked up, the player had a match trophy, yeah. the source, it was just it right after down. the first game, <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, I can remember. So a, little, a few more of them during the tournament, no <laughs> doubt. Um, obviously, your birthday, happy belated birthday. Thank your you your birthday in much. camps the other day. So talk me through the celebrations, how was it? No, it was 
honestly, it was just a normal day for me. Obviously, you know, I woke up and obviously got ready to go to train and had breakfast and that. And when you're walking around the hotel, all the staff members are saying happy birthday, happy yeah, birthday. Look, I mean, look at that, Ray. You get sparklers, all sorts. It's like you're in Cove Beach, Dubai. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you, know, you know what? I think it cut it before, the, uh, before you made a little speech. What did you, what did you say no, to I the I did boys? it after, you know. Yeah? I did it after. I just said, obviously, thank you for wishing me happy birthday. Um, it was probably one of my first birthdays I spent with my family, but... Yeah. You know, the guys showed me extra love anyway, so I was just happy to be there and happy to spend my day there. Do you ever dream of celebrating a birthday during a World Cup? Because I guess it comes at like a, a strange time, this World Cup. Yeah, that's and what I mean. Maybe it'll never happen. Yeah, that's what I mean, because obviously, you know, my birthday is December, so it's winter time, so I never thought that World Cups would be around at this time, but, you know, luckily, you know, I'm involved in my first World Cup and my birthday was on at the same time, so... Yeah, it was just a nice day, to be honest, and... Everyone wished me happy birthday, which is nice as well. We had Carl on the show earlier, and he 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 basically said like, in, we're talking about his injury. He was mm -hmm. like, "There's, I had to have full belief mm -hmm. that I was gonna make it back." And like, I think without that belief, he maybe wouldn't have made it. Like, it was, it was purely him. Like, I'm working as hard as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. And you kind of were on the same same club, kind of yeah. the, the, almost like the same schedule of, of recovery. We literally was in every day together. Um, obviously, Stonesy as well was injured a little bit before that, but it's probably the reason why I pushed so, push so much because I see now, obviously, how hard Kyle was working and he pushed me a little bit more. And whenever I got into the gym or got into training, he'd just be like, "Come on, let's get, let's get it done, let's get it done." So yeah, I think without Kyle being there to, you know, guide me through that period, then you know, I probably wouldn't have being as confident in myself to make the World Cup squad, so... He's saying, he was saying that he absolutely hates gym, hates running, hates this, so nah, you for, for you guys to get... Maybe, maybe it was a benefit for you being there, kind of being like, right, cool, I'm putting it in yeah. as well, made it easier for him. Yeah, you know what it is, though? Kyle is literally one of them players that don't need to do anything. He's yeah. just so, like, naturally gifted with athleticism and stuff, and he's strong, he's obviously rapid as well. Yeah, yeah. So, like, he's just... Like, whenever he goes into the gym, like, he'll do one rep yeah. or something. He'll be, be like, he'll be like, no, I can do that, so I'm not doing that again. And then he'll just keep going to, like, different yeah. things. So, um, yeah, obviously it was a good laugh as well when we were there. He's, he's quite a joker as well yeah, in the team, yeah. so... You know, we had, a, we had a good time. It was a tough time, but we had a good time together, so... For the grand of the group, oldest player in the squad as well, so... Yeah. He, doesn't, he, he still wants to be down with the kids, you know what I mean? He still yeah, thinks he's, he's still, one of the young ones. he's still quite childish in a way as well, so... <laughs> no doubt that. We have everyone who comes on ask the, the next guest on Lions Den a question, OK? Yeah. And we've got a, a very special guest and a very special question. This is what Jack Grealish had to say to you. Calvin, my old mucker, uh, just a little question for you. Um, you and Stonesy at City, you're not actually that close. He's a close, but not that close. But now that we're here at England, I just want to ask why you follow him everywhere and just absolutely man-mark him and don't speak to me. Answer that, son. You know what it is with Jack, like? <laughs> he's... So, me and Stone... Like, I got closer with Stonesy because when we was injured together. Yeah. And obviously, I play Call of Duty on yeah. as well, and he plays Call of Duty. So, whenever we've, you know, not been doing anything while we've been away, I've just been like, Stonesy, you coming on COD. And then, <laughs> obviously, the time we spend at the training ground yeah. as well, so, I don't know why... He's just, I think he's just feeling a bit left out, you know? Nah, you know what it is? Jack's friends with everyone, though, so, yeah. like, he could float around and... Yeah. Whereas, I don't know, like, I find that I'm a little bit more, like, sociably awkward, I think. <laughs> like, obviously, I can speak to people and stuff, but... He's just, like, a, that he's, like, on one end of the spectrum, that he's, like, the loudest. Yeah. He's involved with absolutely everything. Yeah, and because I'm with him every day as well, I just... Yeah, it's normal. He yeah, just, he's just normal. I think he just wants to, like, haul people up and yeah. go, no, you're just pals with me, don't worry <laughs> about it. <laughs> it's like, to be fair, it's a bit like with, with Shorey. Uh, you yeah. know, it's, it's like Deck and, Deck, Deck and Mace, they just they roll together. Mm. Shorey's kind of friends with everyone, he floats yeah, around, yeah. but as soon as he's not hanging around with them two, he's like, yeah. why are you leaving us out? Yeah, What's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's just one of them things, I don't know. Maybe Jack's noticed it more than others, but... now nah, I get along with John very well. He's a good lad, and obviously he's a Yorkshire lad as well, so... That's true, actually, yeah. 
So yeah, I do get along with him quite well. You pack loads of your Yorkshire gold teas in, in, in the suitcase or not? Yeah, got yeah. quite a few to be fair. Oh, that's elite mentality, yeah. bro. Mentality monster. Family have asked me to bring some next time I see them. Because they've run out. So. <laughs> this, this is the most Yorkshire thing in the universe. I respect it. I absolutely love it. Now, obviously, I've got to go back to football. And we're, what, a few hours away as, as guys are watching it right mm -hmm. now. As you at home watching it, it's a few hours away. This is actually filmed uh, yesterday. So what are your thoughts kind of going into that game? What does the 24 hours before kickoff look like for you for, for a massive game like this? I think because most of the kickoffs have been so late, it's just been like obviously the night before we just chill out, we're all together and just have a laugh. We watch obviously the group stage games yeah. that are going on, um, and then we kind of just chill out. Probably play, I'll probably play a little bit of cod with Stones. Yes, yes. Spend half your time with Stones. It's all good, mate. Don't yeah. worry about it. When Jack comes on, I'll, I'll let him know. But I can't <laughs> That's afford it. I'll play with Jack as well. Yeah, how good yeah. is he? He's all right, you know, Jack. Yeah. He surprised me. I'm like, about to say, yeah. Yeah, he I didn't, surprised I didn't, me. He I'll... didn't strike me as a gamer. Nah, he didn't me either. When, <laughs> when he told me he started playing COD, I was just like, oh, we need to get a game together. But yeah, he's actually not too bad. All right, we'll take that. I'm, I'm sure we'll be happy to hear that. Now, Senegal, AFCON champions. Mm -hmm. Tough, tough game. Nothing's easy at this stage of the tournament, is it? No, I think... You know, even in the group stages, you've seen how many teams have like slipped up against. So many weird results. You know, so. smaller nations, and you know you can't really take it for granted that. Obviously, I know Senegal are a massive team, and um, they've done so well over the last few years. They're missing, obviously, who I think is one of the best players in the world right now with yeah. um, Mane. Um, but they're still a very good team. They've still got really, really good players, and I just think when it gets to knockout football, obviously there's that added. Extra little pressure as well, the fact that you might go extra time, you might go penalties. <laughs> now, momentum at home, you know, the, the fans at home are going absolutely crazy. We've seen videos from Box Park around people's setups at home. You know, there's a real momentum building in terms of support. How nice is it to know kind of that's going on, you know, so far away from here? And does it give you that kind of extra push in games as well? Yeah, I think obviously the support here has been amazing anyway. Um, but I just think, you know, when you see videos and that from home and, you know, the celebrations of the fans, obviously the last game we played against beers Wales. Beers flying everywhere. Yeah, yeah. beers <laughs> flying everywhere. Um, nah, it's just, it's just a nice feeling. Obviously, we feel very happy that we've made the fans feel like that and, you know, we want to continue doing that throughout the tournament. No doubt, Cal. Thanks very much. Thank you, bro. Good luck in the game. Appreciate Cheers. you coming on. Thank you. Always great to chat to Cal, especially on the eve of a massive World Cup game. Now, I ask you guys to get involved, sending in your comments of support, who you think is going to score, and all that good stuff to the hashtag Lions Den. And you did not disappoint. I'm going to go for a few of them now. Now, Charmaine.vibes, nice and simple one with a big come on England. David Wells on the front foot, let's get it done. Come on, England. We hope, listen, let's bag an early goal and make it. Let's just settle the nerves a little bit. I want to see beers flying around pubs across the country. Uh, Mark Reed, come on, the boys, bring it home, of course. And now we've also got a few score predictions coming in. Uh, Fusilier says, England 2 0 against Senegal, Rashford and a Kane penalty. Hey, listen, it'll be nice to see Kane get off the mark for sure. Now, uh, Jawaira uh, has gone for an absolute goal fest, saying 4 2 to England. Listen, that would be nice. Listen, I prefer to keep clean sheet. We've done all right. So, listen, guys. Now, I told you we are going to bring in someone special, OK? Before that, make sure these comments keep rolling in. The messages of support are so important. But when I said someone special, someone, a physical presence, a beast so big, we can't actually have him in the Lion's Den studio. We have to have him on Zoom and we're on an extra widescreen camera today. It's the main man. It's the one and only Adebayo Akinfemwa. Yeah, <laughs> what's going on, my brother? <laughs> what's going on, broski? It's good to see you, my man. Listen, you're, you're, in, the beast, you're in the beast mode transit van. Yes, yes. You know, you know it well because we're close like that. You know it well. But yeah, my house is getting... <laughs> My house is getting worked on it, and I've got no nowhere but noise, so I had to come in a beast mobile. <laughs> okay, listen. Well, I hope that beast mobile is is sending you to to, to the game to watch the game. Where are you going to watch the game? How are you going to enjoy? I'm it? going to the brothers. I'm going to my brother's house to watch the game. 
Okay, nice, nice. There'll be a good atmosphere in there. I know you guys. I know you guys love to party when you play football, no doubt. So, yeah, talk man. me through it. But um, how have you enjoyed the the, the Like I was saying, how have you enjoyed the tournament so far? No, man, I've loved it. You know what? I've loved it. I was not sceptical going into it, but first World Cup in the winter, so you're kind of unsure how it's going to materialise. But, look, for me, it's been... Listen, you touched on it earlier. The, there's some shock results. Um, but for me, the World Cup starts now. Knockout stages. I'm looking forward to today. No, for sure. There's there's a little extra, a little extra pressure, a little extra spice on these fixtures. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it to the players, but I, I know you, you you've spoken about Gareth Southgate before the gaffer, and you've said you like the way that he kind of sticks to his guns. He doesn't bow to kind of media pressure of of how who he should pick, why he should pick them. You know, he doesn't. He, he just listens to what he's thinking in his head and sets out his plan. Sticks to his guns. So, what have you made of, of kind of his uh, performance as, as the gaffer throughout this tournament? Yeah, listen, you know, for me, sometimes, you know, especially leading into this tournament, you know, sometimes you've been hearing the stick he gets. But for me, you can't even question, you can't question um, the way England's manoeuvred through the group stages. Um, you've touched on it. I think it was the best statistically. He makes changes. Um, and at the moment, I mean, listen, of course, the big one they were talking about, Maguire. I thought Maguire has been excellent this whole tournament. Then, you know, Folden came in, Rashford, Saka, Sterling, you know, you, you can't even question him. Like, so our hope, our hope <laughs> he continues to make the right decisions to bring it home. No, for sure. Now, I know you're a big Liverpool fan. You make no bones about it. How nice was it to see Hendo and Trent get some minutes? Yeah, listen, you know what? Forget me being a Liverpool fan, but even though I am and I shout it from the rooftops, you know, I thought, you know, when Hendo come on, <laughs> <laughs> I thought when Hendo came on, you know, like he just he steadied the ship, and you know his lead the, his leadership has been great. And Trent, yeah, for me, the, the, the people make qualms this. I think he's still one of the best right backs in the world. So it's nice, you know what I'm saying, and that just shows the quality we've got in this England squad. For sure. Now, it's it's a big game. It's, it's knockout football. We lose, we're home. We win. It's a quarter final, and then we're in the business end of the of the, of the tournament. How do you see this game going? Because Senegal, no joke. Yeah, man. Listen, AFCON champions, like, they're no joke. Um, before the tournament, I was saying that they were the ones I was most excited other than England to watch. And then Mane got injured. Um, but still, they've still navigated their way through and it's going to be no joke. They're going to be physical. Like, we know, we know how Senegal play. We know how the African um, teams play with the combination of technical and physical strengths. But I do think England will be able to manoeuvre. It'll be tough. Um, and listen, my score prediction, I think it'll be 2-1. I do think Kane will get on the score sheet because, listen, I know strikers are judged on goals, but his all-round game, I think, has been decent. I think he does get a goal today. I think England win 2-1. England win too well. I like the positivity. Listen, we've we've had some of these score predictions come true. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blow my own trumpet, but I said 3 0 against Wales. So a two one victory into the next stage of the tournament that would be that would be a dream. Now I know you're the beast. I know you're physically strong, but you also come out and say regularly that your mindset was one of the strongest parts of your game. How important is that kind of winning mentality yeah. and that mindset to this England team? Because we, you know, I, I've been blessed enough to, to do this show. I've not really, I've not seen us lose in normal time. I've not seen us lose in the tournament apart from the final, and that was an extra time on penalties. Yeah, listen, uh, look, you know what the maddest thing is? Like, everyone in that England squad have played big games and they've got an elite mentality because they wouldn't be where they are. And that is the most important, the most important thing, that togetherness and that elite mentality in the sense where, look, they've been there and they've done it. Um, of course, they haven't got past the, the final line and we're hoping that this is the tournament where they do it. But listen, they will believe uh, and Gareth Southgate will continue to be drumming home that, you know what, the last two tournaments, they've got to the final stages. They just need to get past the final line. And fingers crossed, this is it. But listen, it all comes down to that elite mentality and these boys have got it. My man, bro, it's always a pleasure to speak to you. Enjoy Come the game on. and let's hope that 2-1 prediction comes through. And I, 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 listen, don't worry, I'll text you after. If, if Kane gets his goal, I'll text you after and say you were right. He's getting his goal. You better text me. It's coming home, brother. <laughs>
<laughs> you already know, my guy. Enjoy. Pleasure to speak to you. Thanks for coming on Lions Den. I love always, brother. Blessings. Oh, every time. Bye. Always good to speak to Adam by Akin Fenman. What a nice guy. Huge, huge England fan as well. And listen, if, you ever, if, if it ain't a box park, round his house is always a fun place to watch football. Now, you said, I said to you guys, keep bringing in your comments of support, who you think is going to score, score prediction, all that good stuff using the hashtag lines then. And you did not disappoint. So let me run through a few more. Damien, he's bringing the infusium. He's bringing the enthusiasm. I'm so excited, I can't even speak. This is what's going on here. Seven exclamation marks in this one. Come on, you lions. I love that. Uh, Miles Jr. 7, getting another score prediction in. Uh, hashtag lads, they come on lads, 3 nil England. Wouldn't that be nice? Now, uh, Cooper Naldo says, keep it simple, all caps, come on England. Beautiful. Listen, that is it. That's all we have time for. I'm absolutely gutted because I love doing this show, but guess what I love more? Watching England win and watching England bring it home. Okay, so guys, it's going to be special. Enjoy the game. England are in the last 16. Let's hope. Let's hope. Now, guys, absolute pleasure. Enjoy. We will see you tomorrow. Enjoy. Have a great one. This has been Lions Den with MLS Food.